Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday, I did a mathematical formula how to make this window 2,000 millimeters. And I had to do some uh, equations. But then the person I was actually doing it for found a macro and I, I bought it this morning. It only cost 10 bucks. Now, you're not gonna see the reason. So this is from monstermacro.com. You're not gonna really see the reason for this picture, but then I'm gonna do the knife and make it where it might be able to help you. So with a line drawn in my picture that I want, I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna go to auto size and it pops up and I want it to be 2000 millimeters and I'm gonna hit apply. Well, it now made our window, it made that line. Let me see if I can grab just a line. 1,990 point, I mean, it's just a little bit off, but that's neither here nor there, so that's perfect. And then the gentleman actually wanted to scale it to 10% uh, of that. So all you do is just take that, one of these widths, make sure this is uh, locked, and then divide that by 10 and you get your equation or get your size of your graphic. But here's a, here's a knife, and that's what's so cool about this macro. It even, I'm gonna change my uh, measurements, my units back to inches. This knife is 9.75 long, but if you can see this picture that I took of it, I have a big camera and it's 76 inches long. So to scale this, to, to scale it, let's just draw a line from that tip. And I'm gonna go to that tip because it's not really a straight knife. Then I'm gonna grab our, select both our items and I'm gonna go auto size and it's already changed it to inches. 9.75. And what's nice about this, I, I've always been able to do this in years past, but I've had to crop it. Well, now this knife is actually the size of your knife that you're going to engrave on. So if you're going to engrave on it a word, you could scale that word down and have it fit where you want it to fit and it need to be a little bit smaller than that. But one thing I like about it, you could actually do this placement and then take a picture of this and show it to the customer. That that's what it's gonna look like. But then the real benefit is you're gonna be able to take this out to the to your laser and run that and it's gonna fit in that, you know, do center center engraving or however you're gonna do it but you know the logo will fit. Now, as always, I would take this and just double check it and holding down the shift key, hit your rectangle box and it's gonna draw a rectangle around your item. And then that way you could run a red dot pointer and make sure that you're on the knife. So that's pretty cool. I mean, for $10, you can make that up the first or second time you use it and send it to the customer. But that's what I like to do. I like to take a picture and let's get rid of the red line. And then I use Snagit to do it, but uh, I've made several videos on how to use it. Uh, I can't even think of it right now what it is, but it's inside of Windows to take a snapshot of your screen. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.